How's it going everyone? Mike with Rough and Ready Flags. Today, we're gonna go over how to make a centered, tattered soldier flag, at least the way I do it. Stay tuned. Cut your stock the way you want it. Mine, I do 19 by 10. And I use this paint right here, 2X Canyon Black Satin. And then uh, we just spray it all over, so. All right, now you wanna slap some war mask on it. All right, let's go carving. All right, once I get the zero, I'll come over here. As you can see, it's going to take three hours, 57 minutes. But all we're doing is carving the stars, the stripe outlines, and the uh, soldier himself. I'm skipping the stripe fill, which is the pocket stripes right here. And I'm skipping the rip, which is the pocket all in here. All right, and I'll show you why in a minute. Alright, after you're done carving all those, disable the stars, disable the stripe outlines, and disable the soldier. The only thing you're going to be enabling right now and carving are the stripes, 16th inch end mill. Once you're done carving the stars and pocketing the soldier and stripes, go ahead and spray. I use Blossom White Satin 2X Rustoleum. All right, once it's dry, go ahead and peel off the aura mask. It'll look something pretty like that. It's actually really cold out here and it's getting kind of hard to take the aura mask off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just carve the, the center rip. Um, once that's done, then I'll bring it inside, let it warm up a little bit and then I can, it'll be easier to take off all this aura mask and then we can get going with the burn. All right, so like I said, we're just gonna be knocking out the rip. Um, after the video, I'll be taking screenshots of all my feeds and speeds and everything like that with uh, with the cuts. So um, this particular one's going to take about two hours, 41 minutes. Let's go ahead and send it to Carbide Motion. All right, two hours, 15 minutes. Cool. Um, so we get started on that. It's already clamped down. Um, like I said, I'm not going to worry about any of this. Uh, until I get it back in there and, and warm it up. So, all right, let's go. All right, peeled off all the ore mask and now I'm about to burn the rip. All right, so I'm about to do the support line. Um, however, I'm gonna do something a little different because I don't have green and I'm in Texas right now and the weather's pretty crappy um, and I ain't getting out there. Um, I'm infantry, so I'm gonna do an infantry support line and use infantry blue. All right, there it is. Just gonna wait for the blue to dry and then I'm gonna seal it. So uh, if any of you have um, you know, a better process or uh, could see you tweaking something that I didn't do or uh, enhance anything that I have done, uh, by all means, um, let me know, S shoot me a message or something like that. It might help my process, but, uh, this is what I found it was pretty easy. So if you, if you have something better, then definitely hit me up. Thanks.